TypeScript is making you change the way that you write imports in JavaScript. And it's making you change to, I think, the more correct way. Let me tell you about that. So imagine that you're writing like an import like this, where we have import example from foo. Now, when you import example from foo, you're super used to this syntax, right? Like this is how bundles have worked for the last few years or so. You might get an error. And the error that you get is going to be relative import paths need explicit file extensions in ES imports when module resolution is node 16 or node next. So you think, okie dokie, how on earth do I get around that? So you add, because you're importing from a TypeScript file, you're going to add a .ts extension to that thing. And you say, okay, import example from foo.ts, but you get another error. An import path can only end with a .ts extension when allow importing ts extensions is enabled. So this doesn't feel right. The actual solution is to add a .js extension to the import path. So you're kind of referencing a file that doesn't exist yet. That does not seem right at all, but yet that makes the error go away. So you've gone from a setup that you were kind of used to here, import example from just foo, and you understand that means foo.js, down to a foo.js explicit reference. Now, there's a couple of reasons for this. So the first one is that actually doing it like this means that the thing consuming your code can actually operate a lot faster. Now, this is designed to be run in Node, right? And Node, it doesn't actually want to bother with these kind of extensions with the, just the foo, because foo might... Re it might mean like uh, foo.js, or it might mean uh, foo slash index.js. And this is something that bundlers do, you know, like ESBuild and Webpack and all those sorts of things. But it's actually something that TypeScript or Node doesn't want to care about. It just wants to reference a specific file. And that means that startup time on Node applications can be improved a lot with this. So this is why it wants you to write .js extensions. But why not .ts extensions? Well, if you think about it, your compiled code is going to be written in JS, right? And so if you were to actually like turn on allow importing TS extensions and import a bunch of TS extensions, then run that code in Node, well, Node is not going to be able to see your TS extensions because they don't exist in the JS world. So by doing this, TypeScript is telling you, okay, you have to focus on your compiled output. Think about the .js that you're exporting there. This is kind of annoying. It's kind of a paper cut, but I get why they're doing it, right? And if you don't want to use .js extensions, then you should change your TS config JSON to instead of module resolution um, node next, you've got to change it to module resolution bundler. Then it's going to allow you to add those kind of imports without adding the extension. And that's because bundlers like ESBuild, SWC, they kind of bundle your code in a way that is sort of more powerful than TypeScript. It does a few more transformations and it does a bit of this logic for you. And yeah, that's kind of why you need to add all this stuff here. I've got a bit more information on this article, which I'll post below, and I'll see you very soon.